Hi everybody, how's it going? Um, we are going to get into a tarot reading. Before we do, I just want to thank everybody that's been joining the Patreon. I don't read comments on the YouTube channel, but I do read comments on the Patreon. So those of you that we've been connecting, it's been nice to do that. For anybody that's interested in joining, the, um, the link will be in the description box below if anybody wants to check it out. I do videos on Patreon. They are solely for the Patreon community. When I do discounts, they're always put on there first before anybody else has them. So if you're interested, I welcome you to check out. Um, if you don't feel called to it, then you don't feel called to it. it. It is what it is. Before we get started with the reading, let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated, and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. All right. So... I'm seeing you be in the middle of something that's going on, but it may not be going exactly how you want it to be going, and I'm seeing you try to sort of like come to terms with this, maybe try to settle down. I'm hearing something about settle down within your spirit. I am seeing something that it definitely is not going how you want. It's some sort of exchange that you're involved in currently. And you may be in a spot where you're like, oh, I don't want to be upset about this the way that I am, but I am, you know? So just feeling your feelings right now about all of this. It's just not ideal. And that's okay. And it, how you feel is okay. I'm hearing you're allowed to be upset. So if this is upsetting you, let yourself have it. I'm seeing something about fish out of water, and I'm getting something about koi fish as well here. Now I'm hearing caught up. Um, for those of you that are new, my name is Gabriella. Welcome. I channel as well as interpret the tarot cards, so if we're talking about things and you're like, I didn't know tarot cards said that, it is because we are channeling here. All right, so we're starting with, I am hearing something about temperance. Maybe you need to be patient through this process. We're starting with the judgment card. Judgment card is represented by Pluto. What Pluto wants to do is to understand, to dissect, to take something apart. And so the judgment card is about you looking at something from the standpoint of wanting the truth and analyzing it from there. So this means you've gotten to the point where you're like, I'm beyond just what I wanted in this situation. I want to see the light. I want to see the truth. And that is the lens that I'm looking at this through. I want to know what's going on. I want to find out. This has not been the most straightforward situation at all. I'm seeing you digging and digging and digging and digging. Like, it's taking long to get to the core of this. With Neptune here, of course. Um, Neptune is a silly little character. When we have the Hanged Man, Neptune is basically... You find yourself in a situation where there's been, like, a bit of a mask when it comes to something that you've been like sort of making out something you've been trying to look into and the deal with Neptune is that as we seek higher ground and as we desire the truth beyond just what we want to project on to what's going on um the veil kind of lifts and we're able to see what's underneath it but Neptune is like a it Neptune holds up a mirror to us unbeknownst to us however and so we find ourselves in a situation where we're actually looking at like a reflection of our desires, a reflection of our psyche. But again, like we don't realize Neptune is tricky in that way. And it kind of sucks you out to see. 
it's something that intrigues you enough where you're like, ooh, I'm drawn in this direction. And then it ends up like kicking your feet out from underneath you. And before you know it, you're like in the middle of the ocean and you have like no life jacket on. But you have the help of your guides here and in that moment when you find yourself in the middle of the ocean and it's kind of like whatever you ha whatever visions you'd been seeing like disappear and you're like wow I'm really in the middle of the ocean right now it can very much feel like that moment because it just like pulls you in and pulls you in and pulls you in but without realizing what's going on because it's like distracting you over here and look at that little fish over there you know and so before you know it you're like in the middle of the ocean and you're like how did I get here um so I'm, I'm seeing this process that just feels like there are layers and layers and layers and layers to it. And so every time you feel like you reach the center, it's like, it's not. So you keep going and going and going and going. There's just a lot to unpack here. I'm also seeing, it seems like your guides have been pacing you through this process as well, where as much as you maybe wanted to rush ahead and be like, I want to see what's under here. I want to know what's going on over there. It's like you were only allowed to go so far. And so I'm seeing you kind of get, um, yeah, you're only allowed so far as you go through this. And then once your guides are ready for you to explore more, they kind of lift up whatever energetic gate was there and then you can go explore like the next layer. So as this has been happening, I'm seeing there be something going on with the Knight of Cups. Now, the Knight of Cups is, if this is you, it can always be somebody else wanting to connect with you, somebody wanting to reach out to you. Whoever this person is, I'm seeing something about um, maybe not feeling super confident or not feeling at their best. This person, whoever is the Knight of Cups, is somebody taking a little bit of a chance, a little bit of a risk, like somebody putting themselves out there, somebody getting vulnerable, hoping to connect heart to heart. But coming out of Neptune, like on the other side of it, this means that something would have need to be something needed to be realized in order to allow this to happen. And there may have been delays. I'm seeing two people coming forward now, not just one, which may complicate things. It's like out of the Neptunian portal, we have two people. Neptune definitely has something to do with this. Look, both of them, both of these people coming through. I'm here, want your attention. This is like got options over here. Some of you could be um, dating around. You could have multiple suitors. Um, you could be on like a dating app too. Seven of Cups kind of feels like looking at people's profiles and stuff. But yeah, having both of these people come in may complicate the situation. At least one of these people I'm seeing you know, like you have history with them which may further complicate the situation. But I'm seeing your guides be like, you don't want to make any decisions yet. There's still something that needs to be seen. Yeah, we have the Ace of Swords and the Page of Swords here. This means that this situation is going to be cleared up. So something is going to become very obvious and apparent to you, but it's only after you get through Neptune, which means that this can have to do with Neptune transiting within your chart. It can be Neptune or Pisces within your chart being activated or the 12th house being activated. Um, or you could have a Neptune contact 
in your synastry with somebody, which will also have this effect. So there are many different ways that you can be dealing with, I'm hearing the mathematical algorithm of Neptune, okay? Neptune Pisces. Which basically means that you need to sit within a situation and give it time to rub off. Because with Neptune, it will start as being a very, very potent mirror. But then it's like over time, it kind of wears away. And then you can actually see through to the other side of it. But it begins as a very reflective process where you are just staring at yourself in another space. It's like looking into yourself in a different form. But yeah, I'm seeing that you're over here determined to really get the truth and run with it. I'm hearing and apply it for safety's sake. It also seems like you want to make sure that I do feel like this is picking between people or picking between options. Like you could have multiple job offers that are coming through. You could be picking from multiple jobs. This can be, I'm hearing web design. Um, you could be like wanting to hire somebody, picking between assistants. Um, but this can also be like a romantic gesture or something like that. I'm seeing you are here wanting to get the information to compare it back with your core values. I'm seeing that be important here. Something about being in line with the ethos. I'm hearing when you look, you find it. You are going to have a breakthrough and it seems like it's going to be brought up into the conversation. Yeah, it seems like everybody wants an opportunity with you. It's like, not just one, not just 10, but 11. We have so many here. It, it seems like a lot is coming through all at once where you're like, I'm seeing the meme of that guy that's sweating with like the buttons that he has to press. I'm seeing a lot that's coming through simultaneously and that's what makes this a complicated situation. It's all gonna be leading to a new beginning. It's all gonna be leading to a new chapter, but it's kind of like you picking out the storyline right now and figuring out what you wanna run with. Because I'm seeing you be very mindful of the moves that you're making here. It seems like we're getting somewhere, but getting there very slowly. But you're gonna know you're gonna know how you want to take action. Okay, I'm seeing important information come to light. I'm hearing valuable. It was something that you needed to see. I'm seeing you also be needing to do things at like maybe a stressful time when you have a lot going on, a lot that you're managing and tending to. You may also have people coming through wanting to connect with you for different reasons, but it's just a large volume of people wanting you. Because I'm seeing you deal with something on a personal level, but I'm seeing you also have things that you need to uphold and maintain. Okay, yeah. This cycle towards the end, I'm seeing things get very, very congested. We have the Seven of Cups, we have the Ten of Wands, and then we have the Ten of Swords. So this congestion ends up coming to an end. I'm hearing financed. Okay, so you're looking at everything spread out in front of you, okay? I'm seeing that 
by you just making the effort to look at everything through the most objective lens possible, that's how you have this moment of clarity. This is a mental breakthrough that allows you to initiate action. So now you're like, okay, I know what I need to do here. I can see everything. I feel like I'm seeing everything clearly at that. And so now I know what I need to do. I know how I want to move forward. I feel confident. I trust myself. You're ready. Okay. You're prepared. You're ready. You may have seen something or learned something that caught you off guard, something that could have potentially mm, could have heard something, somebody could have said something that you felt was hurtful, but I'm seeing this person come through and actually want to talk to you. Whatever this was that you found out, that you came by, that you heard, that you saw, Initially, it may have been something that you took personally, but I'm seeing after you spend time reflecting on it, it may occur to you differently. It may look differently to you than it did at first glance. And it seems like it's going to help you realize something that's connected with a bigger picture here. You could have also, mm, it doesn't have to be you. It can be this other person too. It seems like somebody misinterpreted something. Like initially something may have come across in a way where it was like, wow, that was really hurtful the way that you said that or the way that you asked that or that you even just said that. But with Neptune here, something could have definitely been misconstrued because Neptune does that as well. We can misinterpret things with Neptune like misinterpret somebody's intention, misinterpret what was being said, hear like a little piece of it and then run with it and it wasn't the whole story, something like that. But I'm seeing somebody come through wanting to connect with you, wanting to even talk about commitment or values. I'm also hearing something about what you guys belong to. It looks like they also want to connect with you and talk about building something together. I'm seeing them really want to do something solid here. I'm seeing the Taurian energy being associated with this. Taurus is definitely the archetype of Taurus. There's going to be an agenda of like collecting and building and gathering and saving stuff like that so i'm seeing somebody come through with an offer saying hey you want to walk through this door with me i'm really interested in doing that with you would you be interested this is like a full-blown proposal that this person is bringing to you like they have a whole plan they're very serious about it they've thought about this they're ready to go. They're just like waiting on your answer here. But I'm seeing you be like, I don't know. I'm seeing you kind of be unclear. It may also be like you have a lot on your plate. You have a lot of options. And so you may not be ready yet to minimize. Because I'm seeing there be some stress that you're feeling. But then we have the Ten of Swords. So... Whatever this inconclusive energy is, where it's like a lot's going on and I feel overwhelmed and I have too many options here, Ten of Swords means it's coming to an end and something is going to be decided upon. So even though that may feel very unpleasant to move through, it ends up being concluded because Ten is going to be, we have Ten of Wands and Ten of Swords, that's going to be the end of a cycle and one that had really thrown you off and been very unclear as you swam through. Looking at um, 
definitely heavy Taurus here. I'm also seeing Neptune and Pluto. Yeah, you're like, which new beginning do I want? Which thing do I want to take a chance on? For some of you, it's which person do you want to take a chance on? Yeah, for some of you, there are definitely two people coming through here offering you two, like, slight variations, it seems, on maybe something similar, and, like, you have to pick which one you want. But it doesn't just have to be two people, it's, like, two energies that are coming through. So this can be, like, which career path do I want to go? Like, which venture do I want to go down? Which collaboration do I want to choose next? You know? I'm hearing, it sounds like Relegade, maybe it's Renegade. I'm seeing a tower. Something about somebody that you choose to work with or that you've been working with or that you're going to be working with. I'm seeing threes everywhere. like inadvertently put each system into a pile of three. Yeah, I'm seeing something end up blowing up. This was something building for sure. This is, this is a moment where things come to a head. I'm actually seeing like a volcano erupting. I'm seeing like an ant hill with a bunch of ants coming out the top. Like this, there was definitely pressure leading to this for some time. This did not come out of nowhere. It's like finally breaking the surface, but I'm seeing that this was definitely building for sure. This moment. You look like you're handling it well, though. I'm seeing you have a lot sort of resting on your shoulders here, and maybe that's why you feel like you need to keep it together through this. This can feel like a bit of an off-putting moment, however, but I'm seeing you, I'm seeing you try to process something so it's not getting to you, because I'm seeing you don't want to be reactive here with this, because you already feel like something there's something explosive happening or reactive happening and so I'm seeing you be in a space where you're like I will just make matters worse if I do that so I'm seeing you try to like alchemize the energy like transmute it by being like the opposite and equal force within this situation like hoping hoping to even something out to like rebalance the energetic scales okay it had to come down to this. I'm seeing that, like, even though when it happens, it may be something that feels upsetting. Because I'm seeing this definitely be a lot for you to be carrying. Even, like, with the immaculate skill set that you have, I'm seeing this still be a very, very challenging moment. But I'm also seeing this part of you that's resting in the belief that this is, like, for the greater good. That this happens and it is... You are resting within yourself, again, within this belief that this is actually for the restoration of harmony. And this is the thing that needed to happen. So as soon as you start getting kind of like blown away by this energetically, I'm seeing you be able to ground by your reconnection with this. And knowing that this is a small piece of something much bigger. I'm also seeing too, like in your heart, you'd rather not have the disarray that's happening here. But at the same time, there's this piece of you that's like, this is necessary. This needs to be confronted. And it seems like this is the only effective way that this was going to happen. This has to do with um, a partnership of yours I'm seeing. But I'm getting that things feel like they're kind of on the rocks between you and this person. 
I'm saying you feel in a way like it's your responsibility to sort of stay grounded emotionally through this. I'm hearing as a practice. So I'm looking at the emperor on the bottom of the deck. I'm looking at, I'm hearing Leo very strongly. I'm looking at Gemini, Taurus, Mars, Libra, Neptune, Pluto. And we have Aries on the bottom of the deck. So yeah, this, this thing happens and I'm seeing it feel like it's more startling than anything. But this thing that's being confronted, it's so there can be peace. Peace can be restored. So this needed to happen. And I'm seeing this be involving is somebody that you I'm hearing care for dearly. So it has to do with you and somebody that you're connected with. I'm also hearing something about future building. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everybody for tuning in. Thank you for connecting. I'm wishing everybody love and lane healing and I hope to catch you guys next time.